Hello and welcome to another episode of the Idle Hands Workshop. Tonight I'm going to be assembling a mask using uh, Diesel Punk RO's simple mask pattern that he has for free over on his website. For some reason my camera decided to crap out on me and you get to miss the part of me tracing the pattern out and cutting it out and punching all the holes not anything major so we pick up here all the pieces are cut out holes are punched and right now what I'm doing is using some feedings leather dye this is purple because the request was purple so using a dauber I found that I use a lot less dye than a rag and it doesn't get as messy so I'm just going around the whole thing and I go around the edges and on this center piece I like to go around the underside too because I've noticed sometimes those edges lift up a little and show the uh, fleshy side when you don't want it to and if you don't dye that it looks white well fleshy you get what I mean but go around dye everything get it all nice and covered No, I'm not that fast at it. I've actually sped things up through the power of movie magic. Techno wizard we wizardry at its finest. Say that three times real fast. Alright, so we're just about done with that. Next, we're going to bust out the toolbox. And while I've got it out, I'm going to pull everything I need out you'll notice that my toolbox has evolved a little bit. I've taken suit like Adam Savage and I've labeled everything, including the box itself. It says leather work and stuff. So I'm just pulling out my stuff I need, the uh, polish, some super glue, which I use for the ends of the knots and stuff. Oh, and my snips. Pick those up off of Wish. Took a month to get them, but I love them. I got two of them for a dollar. Can't beat that with a stick. Well, I mean, you could. They might break. But anyway, I'm using Kiwi's uh, polish for all colors. Gives a nice finish. Get you a nice soft towel and we're going to wipe everything down with it. And if I'm not mistaken, my camera crapped out on me again at some point here and you get to miss me buffing it with the brush. That's how everything winds up shiny here in a bit. Yeah, so coming up, we're going to notice everything. Nice and shiny. You can get the template there over at dieselpunk.ro under his free stuff link. Never know what he's going to have over there. Sometimes he posts a pattern up for free and he leaves it there for a week or so. So if you follow his channel, he'll tell you, hey free pattern over there go get it goodness it won't stay there for very long but you can get the mask pattern and then for sale he's got a nice bundle that has the pin cushion a cup holder and something else I have yet to build but here I am my favorite part of any project threading the stupid needles Now that everything's kind of dry and polished up, you can see that purple really popping on that leather. Of 
You know, what we're going to do is grab two pieces, put them together, and saddle stitch. Whole lot of saddle stitching going on. Kind of like the Bible in the begetting. Begotten, begetting. Whole lot of boinking. But coming up here, I'm going to speed things up again because you really don't need to watch me saddle stitch this whole thing together. Just get it started, pull everything tight. One of the things to making your stitches look good is keeping them tight. I also find that once you get one stitch through on one side, pull it back down and that'll open the hole up so that when you put the thread through the other side A you don't go through the thread that's already in there and B it makes it just a little bit easier to pull the other one through and it keeps them all in line and pull it all tight move on to the next one Wash, rinse, repeat. It's a real simple pattern. Not a whole lot you need to worry about. The only time it gets a little crazy is around those curves when it wants to start taking shape. Which is that big bottom curve and then the smaller top curve. Well, I take that back. Those, uh little tabs for the elastic band they can be a pain too because you got to watch out and make sure you don't stitch your elastic in there otherwise you won't be able to adjust it and on this mask in particular I left the elastic loose because the person it's going to I've never met I don't know if they got a big head a little head watermelon head who knows so I left it loose and untied so they can adjust it as they need to. Something else about this template, I printed it out at 85% normal size because my wife says this person has a small face. So, it's the same size I printed the template out for my wife's mask fits her like a glove so she says it'll work for this person so here we go as you can see I've almost reached the end of this side you see it starts to take shape look at me go super fast saddle stitching And yes, I know, something I need to work on is getting in the field of view of the camera. I know the workspace is the green area, but i got to sit a little closer, it seems. So on the next video, I'll work on that, which I've already got the next video planned. It's going to be kind of fun. We're going to start out in the bathroom and end up out in the living room, and who knows? Maybe we'll go for a walk in the park. I don't know, depending on how far we get this whole project, I don't want to give any spoilers, but we may go to Walmart. I saw a video that really inspired me. Makes me want to go to Walmart. I will say, I am so happy I labeled everything. It just makes it so much easier. 
I was happy with the color coding, but the labels just now I can open it up and boom, there's everything. Take a minute here and I'm going to get something to drink and hit the vape and just kind of get off my butt for a second because I'm getting old. Now, something you might want to do is save those ends that you cut off if they're long enough because you're going to want to use those to sew the tabs on the cheek pieces for the elastic. Why throw it away when you can reuse it? So I'm threading the needles, getting ready to do the next side, and we will speed through that when we get to that point. But coming up, we have a very special treat. Ladies and gentlemen, for one night, and one night only, it's the incredible Boomer. Look at that butt. Just what everybody needs to see. Boomer butt. Yep, he had to come over and get some loving. Plus, it wouldn't be a proper video without me flashing my wiener to everybody. Now, back to our regularly scheduled program. Like I said, we're just going to speed this up and blow through stitching this side up. It's saddle stitching again. See, I'm using those cheap needles from China that I reviewed. Still working great. Haven't had any problems. As a matter of fact, these have lasted longer than the ones I bought at Michael's, which I've already snapped two of, bent a couple of, and I haven't had any problems with the ones from China, so you tell me. I think I paid $6 for the ones at Michael's and $2 for the ones from China that I got off Wish. All right, so here's the mask itself all finished. Now we got to do the cheek pieces. You can see I got the piece of elastic there. I think that's quarter inch. And I, like I said, I left it long. And now you get to watch me fiddle around trying to get it started. Because what you got to do, you got to bend the tabs over and you're going to stitch through the one side trying not to go through the elastic through the other side of the tab back over through out the front making a loop and then you're going to saddle stitch down the side got that if not don't worry Tony does a better video of it this was just kind of a spur of the moment you know, I think it was 2 o'clock in the morning when I decided to start that. The wife said, hey, you should videotape doing that. So, I did. Well, not videotape, but... Does anybody even use videotapes anymore? Something to ponder.
So we're just going to go through and finish stitching it up. We're going to super glue the ends like I did. Make sure you put your sharp pointy needles away. Snip off the excess. And, ta-da, we have a mask. Isn't it pretty and purple? That's it. We're done. Peace. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit the button. Make sure you get all the notifications. Like, share, all that. See you next week or sooner this week. Who knows?